Okay, ugh. Sorry this is taking a while. Um, so welcome to Dragon Age Inquisition Part 2. Just like last time, I will be uploading this whole thing to YouTube, so if you miss any part of it, um, you can just watch the whole thing like a normal Let's Play on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get started with Dragon Age Inquisition Part 2. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Let's go to load. Hold on a sec. Stop. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Let's go to load game. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry about the little switching back and forth. I was. Tr I was trying to get things. I was trying to get my settings correct. But we should be good now. Frostback Mountains. Trying to make sure I have the right character. Select. There we go. Okay, right character. Let's do this. So today is going to be a the be, the beginning of this is going to be a little a lot of exposition because there's still three more characters I need to talk to before I go out and investigate um, my first area, which is the hinterlands. Hmm, pretty good. Pretty good dramatic music in the background. Send my friend a quick message. There we go. Now do something while I'm loading. While while the game's loading. I'll probably be streaming till about 11 my time. So right now my time is 9:17. Uh, return to the wart. Well, yep. But before I do that, I gotta go talk to Sister Leliana, which I think I just missed her. Let's go talk to. Hopefully, I can talk to her. Yeah, you know, turn up my volume real quick. Okay, my volume's good. There you are, Leliana. Champions of the just. just. Blessed are the righteous. The lights in, in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the divine feast, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? Awful things happen every day. Get used to it. Get used to being a pawn? To be discarded when the Maker's done with you? The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Who could blame her killers, my sympathies? Well, I guess I'm going to make my character kind of an ass. <laughs> People are killed all the time. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now <laughs> she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Help you. These are your problems. 
This has nothing to do with me. You're right. I shouldn't have let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come. To work then. We will speak later. Ta. Uh huh. Yeah, my character's kind of, um, my character's not going to necessarily be very nice. Okay. I still need to talk to her though because I need to get the history of the world to see if my world my world import worked. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll come back to her. I can always come back to her. Hey, time to walk over here. Okay, I think we'll be talking to Colin first. Oh, huh. this is kind of nicely choreographed. In your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Guess we got a former Templar. Recruits, locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. That wasn't my idea. I'd be concerned if it was. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. Everything's a mess. I believe this mark will help. You trust in the Inquisition? We left the Templars for this. You believe the Inquisition can work? I do. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. I hadn't planned on it, no. Then I shall spare you. Ah, there's still a lot of work ahead. Go ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Yeah, I'm not going to try and romance Colin. He doesn't really get my... He doesn't really, you know, entice my character. Did you need something? I'd like to know more about the Templars. Templars. If you need insight into what the Order is doing now, I'm afraid I can't offer more than you already know. No. Anything else? I will answer as best I can. Hmm. Yeah, dur like I said, like I said before in the last video, I will I'll try to keep quiet during the dialogue sec uh, sections because this is an RPG, and to me, my belief in an RPG is that dialogue is very important. So I want you guys to be able to hear uh, hear all the dialogue, or all the important dialogue, I would say. Why did you join the order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars at our local chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The night captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me to training. I was 13 when I left home. That's not very old. <laughs> it's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the order at infancy. Still, oh, that's kind of. <laughs> until I was 18. The order sees you trained and educated first. What about your family? What about your family? Did you miss them? Of course. But there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. Do the Templars do anything besides hunt mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a circle. They were also tasked with tracking apostates or fighting demons inevitably summoned by the weak or malicious. What do you think of mages? Are they all a threat? I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. I've treated mages with distrust because of it, at times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so here. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people. 
including wages from possession of the beast. You've lived in the circle. What was a typical day for a Templar there? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Tora. Right <laughs> Thank you. Before that, then. Certain rituals require a full guard. A mage's howling, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. Do Templars and mages never speak to each other? Some do, but Templars are supposed to maintain a certain distance from their charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. What does Templar training involve? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thedas. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their the mental focus. Did you enjoy your training? I wanted to learn everything. If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. <laughs> I wanted to be. <laughs> it wasn't always successful. <laughs> Watching a candle burn down while reciting the Chant of Transfiguration wasn't the most exciting task. I admit. My mind sometimes wandered. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages, that sort of thing? There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given a filter, your first draft of lyrium and its power. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker, we have chosen. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Another time then. Okay, let's see if there's anything else I can talk to him about. Gotta squeeze all the information out of him. I should get to know you better. We're working together, after all. What would you like to know? Alright. Where are you from? How to act for Elden. My esteem Lady Sidonia. For Lady Marcella's odd behavior of late. Why the hell did this come up? Food. Oh. Wow. I grew up in Ferelden near Homme. I was transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? Be back. I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Right. Did you fight Darkspawn? Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle, Circle Tower. Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there. Blight. What happened at the Circle Tower? Oh boy. Who survived the blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. An apostate blew up the chantry, and the knight commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. <laughs> I kind of like your sarcasticness, Colin. You were at the conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order. Red Lyrium had driven Knight Commander Merit mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion, turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her, in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Barrett from Kirkwall? 
Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Barrett's insistence. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. <laughs> That's something Barrett would say. I'll let you return to your work. I'm sure you have other matters to do. Did you need something? Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. should. The Templars have served the Chantry for ages. And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Missed. I may disagree with the Order's actions, Missed. but I'm here as proof of that. I sympathize with their frustrations. frustrations. Is there anything I should know? Not at present. Tell me about your colleagues. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. But I enjoy <laughs> working with her. <laughs> How do you like working with Liliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly. Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined us instead of following the Order. They've proven invaluable in training new recruits. Oh yeah, um, hopefully this Thursday. If not, I will try to do the best I can on Saturday and Sunday of next week, but... The beta for, and this is just a PSA, public service announcement for anybody. Thursday, October the 8th, for until, so this thir this coming Thursday, October the 8th, so from that day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, there will be a Star Wars Battlefront open beta. You do not need to pre-order the game, you just need to simply download it on your preferred platform, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. It'll be it'll be a free download, and if you want to try out the beta, I highly encourage you to do so. Okay, let's talk to Cassandra now. Also, I really like the look of my character. <laughs> Why would I try to romance Cassandra? She she whoa, not no not, not, not gonna happen. <laughs> she she kind of hates me now. <laughs> That wasn't meant to be me. What? That? You obviously don't like somebody. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. What does your faith tell you? <laughs> I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. But is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. Well. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits, or how. What's going to happen now? Now, we deal with the Chantry's panic over you before they do even more harm. <laughs> then we close the breach. We are the only ones who can. <sighs> After that, we find out who is responsible for this chaos, and we end them. Yep, I think that's pretty justified. To be paid for what I have done, I pay them. Yeah, I that's so. Pray the price is not too high. Okay, the camera just kind of weird flipped out there. Isn't it a bit late to worry about it now? We have only just begun. My train is always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must. Think before you act. 
I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I like I'm Cassandra as a character. Thing, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. There is a lot at stake. You do not have to tell me that. Yes, I feel like I kind of have to do Cassandra. You believe you're chosen. Does that mean you believe in the Maker? I don't know, yeah. You're asking me. You're not a follower of the Kyun. You could be... I suppose it doesn't matter now. I have to believe we were put on this path for a reason, even if you do not. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. And now I gotta talk to Cassandra for a lot of exposition. This is what I find f interesting and also kind of funny about Dragon Age Inquisition. They literally have like dictionary or dictionary levels of exposition, if not encyclopedia levels. Like, I feel like you could fit all the exposition of Dragon Age Inquisition into about four or five encyclopedias. It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? Well, now I'll I'm not sure. <laughs> Now I get to tell you my life story, Cassandra. <laughs> I thought you knew that. I suppose I could ask Liliana. She has collected a frightening amount of information on you. But I don't want to ask her. I want to hear it from you. Tell her. No specific place. My mercenary band worked mostly in the free marches, however. At least until you cross the Waking Sea to reach the Conclave, I suppose. Tell me, do you consider the Free March as your home? Are you eager to go back? Home is wherever I am. I might, once this is done. It will not be the same once you do. Do. I agree, Cassandra. Now, Cassandra, I want you to tell me your life story. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. <laughs> yeah, not gonna romance Cassandra. Just being friendly. Just answer the question. <sighs> as you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentecost, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman, and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. My lady? You're Navarran royalty? You're a member of Navarra's royal family? The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. Uh. You don't think being noble gave you opportunities others don't have? An opportunity to be decadent, perhaps. To be useless to anyone but myself. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting. But few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Aww. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. Very well, Cassandra. You don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus I did not see Navarra, the real Navarra, until much later. By then I realized I knew it not at all. Your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. The hmm. king executed them, but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Thus we were raised by my uncle. 
a mortal Italski who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. Okay, that's kind of dark. Your uncle was a mortal Italski? A death mage. He still is. My countrymen do not burn the dead. They bury them in special crypts. The mortal Italski supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the Grand Necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. It is odd to be so fascinated with death and its trappings. I will never understand it. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were... Unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drama. I'm about to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. It's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. Hmm. What is a right hand? A right hand. Well, your right hand is this. What is your hand? That's a right hand. It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fit. <laughs> Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she was <laughs> After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seekers. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You thought she could really change things? Justinia knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it. But the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to hmm. be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. So what's the story about you becoming the right hand? Hand. Sweet Andraste, do you really want to hear that? It was... What, 18, 20 years, years ago? ago? Some still discuss it like it happened yesterday. The tale gets bigger each time it's told. I barely recognize myself within it now. You're stalling. To hear others tell it, I alone saved Divine Beatrix from a horde of dragons sent to assault the Grand Cathedral. Okay, that's a little much. Such a young seeker, wouldn't you say? And the truth is... I stumbled upon a conspiracy to kill Beatrix. A Templar Knight Commander was at its heart. And there was a dragon battle at the Grand Cathedral that I had help from loyal mages who rallied to the cause. They freed the dragons from magical control. Without them, the Divine and I would both have died. Yet I became the right hand, and they are forgotten. Aww. What happened to the mages that helped you? They went back to their circles, with rewards and privileges and most holy gratitude. Many of them died at the contour. That's rather typical of the Chantry, isn't it? Even worse, few know of the Knight Commander's involvement at all. That sort of willful blindness needs to change. It, it really does. See if that's all I need. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about the Seekers. Oh, Lord. Okay, before we even continue further with you, Cassandra. Before we continue further, we're going to save the game just in case the game decides to crash on me. Okay, now let's get back to talking. Tell me about the Seekers. The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition Position. long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? But what are the Seekers? But what are Seekers, exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We discipline the Templars and were accountable <coughs> only to the Divine. And not even her, truthfully. So you led the Templar, then who watched you? 
sounds like the Seekers didn't do their job very well. No, probably not. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was afoot. That kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. Do you think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hands. You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful, considering our role. Seekers can gain other gifts, but that depends on the individual. What kind of gifts do you have? have. I can set delirium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and Templars bend before my will. Some Seekers use it to interrogate, others simply to paralyze. Once there was a Seeker who could use it to kill. That particular gift is considered rare. <laughs> Why did the Seekers rebel? We originally united with the Chantry through a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt most holy <laughs> Yeah, they did a real good job of that. to vote on its independence, thus breaking the treaty. The Seekers saw themselves as justified, and they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. You sound like you disagree. We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. But we found so many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes, You're right. Something should have been done. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks and crush it. We would find an answer, but only once we felt we weren't being coerced. The moment the Mages voted for independence, our response was predictable. It was difficult to watch. How does someone become a Seeker? Most Seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older. An exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. Is the vigil some kind of initiation? It is the rite every seeker must go through in order to summon their gifts. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including other people. We empty ourselves of all emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. Faith realized. I cannot put it into words. What is magic? You were delirious. Your mind was probably playing tricks on you by then. Yet the gifts are real. I know no more than that. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never needed to fear possession by demons? That would be nice. It is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. I have no more questions. Well, I do need to talk yes. to her about the Chantry. Let's talk about the Chantry. May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what becomes of the Chantry now. They have no Templars, no leadership, and no one left who is worthy of succeeding the Divine. It has fallen apart when everyone needs it the most. I ache to think what this will mean in the days to come. Should the Chantry be saved? Do you really believe the Chantry is worth preserving? I do. Though I understand how someone born outside of human society might think otherwise. Cast the Chantry aside and new problems replace old ones. We will have learned nothing from history. The people need stability. And the Chantry needs a new purpose. Yeah, they do. Because they had a dream for us. It can still be achieved. 
be a new divine. What new purpose? So what that new purpose be? A dedication to what is truly important. Instead of building cathedrals and sewing gowns for the divine, the chantry used to spend its coin feeding the poor. If we are to spread the maker's word across the world, oh, we must do so with open hearts and open hands. An idealist. That sounds rather There's no problem with being an idealist. Does it? I do not think it's so unachievable. The Chantry has many good, honest people. They just need direction and inspiration. They need to be freed from centuries of adherence to tradition and ceremony. Ooh. Don't forget, I still, have to, uh, I still have to talk to Sister Leliana. So there's going to be a little bit more of exposition, and then I promise you we will get, in, uh, the, we will get into some of the action stuff. Who is Chancellor Roderick? But I promise there will be some action today. He's a bureaucrat. There will be some. Responsible for communicating the divine's will to the rest of the chantry. Therefore, he's accustomed to the clerics hanging on his every word, hoping his influence will benefit them. Despite that, Roderick is not a bad man. He's frightened and believes his place is to fill the gap left by most holy's death. Some might agree. But Sounds like they treat this like the Pope. He is, there is no one left above him. Yes. Will will he be a problem? I think he will be. Problem could he be? No more than he is already. He sent his message to the College of Clerics. That is the only card he had to play. Dealing with him further only lends him credibility he doesn't deserve. Will there be a new divine? Will the Chantry replace Divine Justinia? They will try. Once the priests withdraw for the grand consensus. It is against Chantry law for them to emerge without naming a new divine. Sometimes it takes days, or weeks, or even months. The problem now is that no clear successor to Justinia exists. All worthy clerics died with her at the conflict. Well, it sounds like how they choose a new pope, actually. That kind of sounds like it. So what happens if they can't agree on someone? Theoretically, they will argue until exhaustion takes them or they see reason. Practically, however, if the grand consensus goes on too long, the Chantry will crumble. Any cleric with ambition but little sense will see this as her one chance, and plenty of such clerics exist. We shall see what happens. The Inquisition must act in the meantime. If they do choose a new divine, will you serve her? That depends on whether she would have me. I am a rebel now, remember? And even if she would, I... Do not know. It would depend on what type of divine she is. I am no longer in a position to follow blindly, and no new divine could expect such obedience now. Why did you lead the Chantry? Rebelled against the Chantry? I left my own order when they took the wrong path. It is no different. But in neither case did I stop. Oh, my hands don't hurt. Indeed, I feel so much that I feel drastic action is necessary. I suppose history shall one day judge my actions. Okay, thank you, Cassandra, for telling me your life story. Now I gotta go have Leliana's life story. First, we gotta save the game real quick. And I just thought I'd do this for a little bit. I know there's no enemies around, but I kind of want to. Oh, boom! Thank you. Now let's go talk to Leliana, and then we will explore the hinterlands. Hopefully she's ready to have a talking to. Yep, I can finally talk to Liliana. There were so many questions surrounding Faria's death. Did he think we wouldn't notice? He's killed Faria, one of my best agents, and knows where the others are. You know what must be done. Make it clean. Painless if you can. We were friends once. Have to kill him. Traitors deserve to die. Glad to see traitors are dealt with quickly. <laughs> we must do whatever it takes to protect our interests. I am pleased that you agree. They have no tolerance for traitors. You take a harsh view. But I suppose that is the way in these troubled times. We will make the Inquisition a force to fear. Thank you, Liliana. Now if you're happy. I have more work to do. 
I'm still gonna talk to you, Liliana, cause I oh, cause I gotta get some information out of you. Reports of Phaedrifts and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Hmm. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. You're right, it isn't. You are Justinia's life left hand. They called you the left hand of the divine. That they did. What of it? What is the point of an inquisition? Justinia would have started the Inquisition if the Divine Conclave failed to restore peace. She hoped that, with enough support, we could challenge the very tenets of the Chantry. She wanted the Chantry to be <gasps> mages mm. fairly. But sometimes I wonder, why stop at mages? The Chantry has committed many injustices. If we're going to change it, why not change the whole thing? Exactly. <laughs> it's just a thought. None of this will be possible if we fail. Are you saying we'll fail without the Divine? I'm saying I thought it would be her leading us. Nothing more. I could use the left hand of the Divine at my side out there. Every agent out in the world is my eyes, my ears, my blade. Wherever my people are, I am also. Coming with you, leaving my post, would blind and bound me. Do you see? What exactly does the left hand of the divine do? A divine always has enemies. And Justinia had more than most. I protected her. I watched, had an ear to every door. I identified threats, and I dealt with them. Why did Justinia have so many enemies? There were many who felt she was unfit to be divine. She had a past, a worldly life. Unlike many, she wasn't given... Oh, for some reason she disappears. Child. She chose it. And somehow that made her unworthy. And because they thought she was unworthy, they wished her harm. So you were her spy master too? I handled difficult situations that couldn't be resolved through more delicate means. I'd like to hear about Justinia. What was she like? A friend. A mentor. Like me, she had secrets. Made mistakes. It made her human. I think her followers responded to that. Was there something more than friendship between you? You're asking if we were lovers. Typical. I was devoted to her, therefore it must be romantic. Love is common. Love is simple. My bond with Justinia was something greater. She was a sister, a mother, a teacher. So to answer your question, Yes, it was more than friendship. How did you and Justinia meet? I met her a long time ago, before she became divine. Before she was Justinia. When I met her, she was Mother Dorothea. Dorothy! Lost. <laughs> lost. And she saved me. No, no, wait. <laughs> she hates it when I say that. I saved myself. She just showed me it was possible. We'll talk more later. Let's see if she has any more to say. You need something? Invest. Tell me about yourself. You are well connected. You seem to know a great many people. I have made friends. And on occasion enemies. It's unavoidable. You have a history with the warden who ended the blight, don't, don't you? Don't you? Even when we're far apart, my love is on a quest of her own. When the Inquisition has no further need of me, I will join her. For good this time. I have lost enough. I will not lose her as well. I understand. They say you spent some time in Lothering. Did you know the champion? We spoke a few times. I seldom left the Chantry, and we never became more than casual acquaintances. I saw more of the Hawk Twins. Bethany in particular. She would spend time in meditation at the Chantry. And she seemed to like my stories. <laughs> the other one, 
The young man? He was a little surly. I did encounter the champion again later in Kirkwall. Those were terrible times. Why were they terrible? Was this when the Chantry was destroyed? No, that happened later. But even then, the news coming out of Kirkwall was disheartening. There were some in Val Rayo who wanted the Divine to declare an exalted march on Kirkwall. Justina sent me there to see if that could be avoided, to gather evidence to calm those agitating for war. I guess it didn't matter in the end. We can continue this conversation later. You know where I am. I'm listening. Any updates? Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. Okay. I'll leave you to your work. Okay, that should be everybody. And now we are going to go explore the hinterlands. So with all that exposition in there, uh, what did you guys think of, of, of all that you learned? Because this was pretty much like a school lesson, I guess you could say. Because you learned... Because you guys learned quite a bit. See if Josephine has anything to say. What may I do for you? When there was no Investigate. What are your duties? What were I here? No, but I think that's it. I already talked to her in that la in the last let's play. Let's speak later. Another time. Another time. Summon the War Council. Now I'm gonna go send my operatives on missions as well. Ferelden. Have you kept in touch with our friends in Lady Esterly's estate? Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We will have names soon enough. The Terran of Hyaba. Your Honor, Ferelden Captain Longsword. That could be useful. Address a nobleman's concerns. Ooh, I got 135 gold. Now let's see where else I can send troops. The Black Emporium. Hard and high town, Varric's revenge. I think we'll send Liliana. We'll send her on that. Let's see what we have. Hopefully, there's some missions over in Orle. Contact with Valcon. We can send a patrol to find the scattered Talvashoth mercenaries in the wilderness. That could be useful. All right. Thank you. Too bad there's nothing else for me to explore. The Black Emporium. Okay, now, now I guess I gotta go... I guess I had to use some fast travel points to get to the hinterlands. Okay, journal, where is... Quest map, there we go. World map. Let's go to the hinterlands. Travel to location. Now, so far, these are the only three characters that I have. Varric, Cassandra, and Solus. So let's do Varric and Solus. Confirm. Hopefully I can do some of the side quests before I talk to Mother Giselle. Ugh. <clears throat> First Inquisition. Okay, that's a lot. Haven. Okay, this game can load anytime soon. Thank you. Ooh. 
Maybe somewhere down the line I'll do a video on Dark Souls 2. Maybe that will be like my miscellaneous let's play that I'll do in between the series. I've heard the stories. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. They might not know much about the Canari, but you'll get no back talk from anyone here. That's a promise. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. I, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, <laughs> never mind. Ugh. What's the situation out here in the hinterlands? We came to secure horses from Redcliffe's old horse master. I grew up here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. Sucks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Dennett. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Marge of that Harding. Okay, now that we're in the hinterlands, let's save the game. And now this is where most of the rest of the game is probably going to take place. Well, not the whole game, but where I'm going to be for a while. Clear threats at the crossroads. I guess we gotta do that now, real quick. Guess I'll have to clear threats at the crossroads. But once we do that, I'll be like going around, you know, establishing all these base camps right here and then closing all the rifts that I can. And also picking up a whole bunch of side quests along the way, most likely. But for now. And just look out and look at the view. These graphics are really amazing. <laughs> just look at the view. Admire it. Hey, let's go. Let's walk down. Whoa. Why can't they have just made this like a true open world and not just several different areas, like just one vast landscape? Oh, shit. Almost fell down there. There we go. Mother Giselle ought to be around here somewhere. Yeah, she should be. She should be. By the way, if I'm like running into like a bunch of like miscellaneous quests or these fetch quests, I'm probably gonna skip through the dialogue on those because the dialogue, that dialogue is not really not that important. They're trying to protect the refugees. Good. Yeah, we should protect the refugees. Let's see, Templar Knight, Tactical Camera, okay, Varric, I think I will put you, Explosive Shot there, Cassandra, um, maybe yeah, I'll put you there, Basic Attack for you, Cassandra, and as for Solace, Maybe I'll have him do that. Now let's just see how it plays out. Let's fast forward time. There we go. There we go. I love using the tactical camera. It's kind of fun. Boom! Take him down! Ugh. Ugh. Boom! Boom! Wow, that was a quick. Oh, well, no, he teleported. Take him down! Boom! Ugh. Be ready. More coming our way. We must be ready. This is Sparta. Uh. 
I'll take care of those ranged people back there. Take out the Templar Knight. Boom. Boom. Gotcha. Oh, wow. He came at me from... I'll take the ranged guy. You're not going to get away from me. We're just wailing on. Ooh. There you go. Let's loot. Done. Hmm. Then we gotta go talk to Giselle, and then I can actually get some side quests going. Hopefully, I don't run into some areas where I where I'll just die immediately. Because for some reason, this game has that. They have like level specific areas that if you're too low of a level and you go into that area, you your character is going to die very quickly. Let's say the lighting in this game is pretty good. Graphics are pretty good. I like the characters. The gameplay is pretty fun. Who can heal your wounds. Lie still. Don't. Don't touch me, mother. Their magic is... Turn to noble purpose. Their magic is surely no more evil than your blade. What? Hush, dear boy. Allow them to ease your suffering. Mother Giselle? Mother Giselle. I am. And you must be the one they are calling the Herald of Andraste. Andraste. You asked for me. Not against magic. Yes. Is that why you asked for me? The Chantry has already... I know what they've done. And why am I here? I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine. Some are simply terrified. So many good people, senselessly taken from us. Taken from us. It was a tragedy. And that's an excuse? They're making things worse. They don't know that. This is my point. Go to them. Convince the remaining clerics there are no demon to be feared. They have heard only frightful tales of you. you. Give them something else to believe. to believe. Appeal to them. But they want me dead. They want to execute me. And you think I should just walk up to them? You are no longer alone. They cannot imprison or attack you. They could try. Let me put it this way. You needn't convince them all. You just need some of them to doubt. Their power is the unified voice. Take that from them and you receive the time you need. Thank you. This won't be easy. You make it sound simple. I honestly don't know if you've been touched by fate or sent to help us, but I hope. Hope is what we need now. The people will listen to your rallying call, as they will listen to no other. You could build the Inquisition into a force that will deliver us, or destroy us. I will go to Haven, and provide Sister Leliana the names of those in the Chantry, who will be amenable to a gathering. Mm. It is not much, but I will do whatever I can. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Aww. Say. Fulveil is coordinating the Inquisition's efforts in the area. We should speak with him. See if there's anybody that I need to talk to. Oop, let's mark this place. Claim in the Inquisition. Yep, just claim them. You know what? I think I'm gonna download Shadow of Mordor today, the Game of the Year edition. Gonna be a long, hungry night. These people need food. Too dangerous to go hunting now. More likely to find mages than luck. Good luck. Luck won't go back, my friends. Yep. I will take care of that for you. 
Right, now I gotta go pick up a whole bunch of fetch quest. Oh, this is kind of a weird glitch. That was kind of a weird glitch. My character was like floating in the air. What the hell? Sorry guys. For some reason my TV just flipped out on me. Hopefully this doesn't interrupt the broadcast. TV just flipped out on me. So right now you can't see me, but I have to turn my TV back on. Okay. Are we good? Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, sorry about that. My TV flipped out for a second. Okay, now let's go to the quest map. Um, requisition officer. Oh, sorry. Let's go start closing some of the fade rifts. Those will be the first few quests. Uh, few first few side quests. Once I take care of the rifts, then I'm going to establish the camp, the forward base camps. Hopefully, I'm heading in the right direction. The navigation in this world can be a little off sometimes. Sometimes it, may, it can be a little bit trying to find your way around. But it's not too bad. Ooh, looks like we got another side quest over here. Ooh, we got some iron to mine. But you need to mine everything you can. East Road. Let's talk to this person over here. Road. You don't think they're bandits? Bandit ways for people are vulnerable. Then hit them fast so nobody escapes. Escapes. These guys are strangers. They care more about driving people away than taking loot. loot. They're either stupid or they're more than just bandits. And they're too well armed for stupid. What can you tell me about the attackers on the road? Several groups. Some of them with bows. They've got better armor than most around here. It's too many for us. If you head out there, careful you don't get flanked. They don't take prisoners. I understand. Hopefully the Inquisition can find some way to help these people. Oh. Templar Defender. Let's get the tactical camera rolling. There you go. Varric, you will do an explosive shot. Cassandra, you'll do a basic attack. And Solace, um, maybe I'll also put you on cold. Everybody else? There we go. There you go. Ugh. Boom. Loot. Ooh. Nope, looks like they already took care of him. The fighting between the mages and the Templars has cost too many innocent lives. You're right, they have cost too many lives. This war must end now. Oop. Better save the game before I engage in combat. Okay, let's go in. Time to take on a whole bunch of demons. Oh boy, that camera got really wacky. Boom. Yeah. You guys take care of them. Oh, there's the rift. I'm trying to find out where the fucking rift is. Oh my. There we go. There we go. 
Prepare for the next wave. Oh boy. Time to prepare for the next wave. Dun, dun, dun. Oh boy, ow, that hurt. That hurt. I'm gonna take care of him first. Oh my god, you peep. Ugh. And some of you people are strong. Take him out. There we go. Looks like the rift is almost taken care of. Time to close the rift. That rift is closed. Spirit essence. Power one. Go look in here. The hills. So where am I now? East Road Bandits holding the hinterlands. Holding the hinterlands, Master of Horses. There we go. Yep. Got to go. Now I gotta turn around and go the opposite direction now. Turn right around. Oh, there's some loot there that I missed. Shadow Essence. My influence is expanding greatly. Thank you. The crossroads. Under protection. Am I even going the right way? Yes, I'm going the right way. So that's good. So just needed to be sure. Oop. There's some iron. Oop. Iron. Acquired two iron. So, like, there's another fetch quest up there that I gotta go pick up. Oop. And there's some resources I can mine. Nope. That's just a sign. There we go. Elf root. There we go. Discovered the outskirts. That may be worth investigating. Loot. Defender mail legs for Eldon Captain Longsword. Okay. Now let's walk and find the next rift. Okay. Ugh. I like you know I really I mean I didn't have all too much praise for this game the first time around but that's why I'm giving it a second chance. I mean it's just like with the first Mass Effect game. At first I wasn't all too impressed by it. I wasn't sure if I would even be able to make it, be able to finish it and like it. So I gave it about a few more chances and second time around I actually enjoyed it and became one of my favorite games. 
So maybe it's, maybe this is what it will be like. Maybe a second maybe a second look at the game will be will change my mind. Plus, I want to be able to get my money's worth out of this game because I because I pre-ordered the crap out of it. I was so excited for it. I mean, it's not a bad game. I mean, I would say probably buy it on sale is what I would say. Wait for a sale on the game. Oh no, can't do that now. Ah, oh, damn it, they got me. Gotcha. Close the rift. Ooh. Rift is now closed. And I got a level up. That was good. Widowmother. I will do that for you. I had to be safe. This they took the ring I gave them on our wedding day in case it was magic. Farewell. Hmm. That is a great injustice, and I will help you. Let's go to the quest map. Yeah, we're gonna do these now. We're we're holding the hint of ends. Which direction do I need to go? This way for the first one. This way for the next one. Gonna be doing a little bit of exploring today. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, this w I will admit the be the beginning was a lot of exposition, but I wanted to make sure you guys had the proper amount of you know story because this game is all about the story. So you, I just feel like you know the story is very important to this, and people need to hear all hear hear the whole thing or at least a good part of it. You said your friend hasn't reported back. Well, she was supposed to be checking on some apostates. I'm on duty here, or I'd go look for her. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll look for her later. Just another one of the many fetch quests. I will admit, that is a gripe I have with the game, is the amount of fetch quests and, st other, and other things like that you'll be doing. Uh, Varric. Explosive shot. And Solace. Yeah. No, nothing else. Oh, Vera can certainly do something. Let's do a long shot. Damn it. Come on, stay still. There we go. I need that. I need that ram meat for a quest, actually. So, set up camp or keep moving? Set up camp. Oh. oh yeah, I've forgotten I can level up my character now. They are certainly going to be in the two-handed weapon. Strength on next unlock. Flawless defense. Battle master. Cost strength on unlock, hamstring, vanguard. Oh, I'm certainly going to need that. I definitely want the charging bowl attack.
That'll be a good power up for me. I hope with the DLCs there is a level capacity increase, because that'd be nice if there was. Damn it, Rick. We're up. Oh wow, there's a lot more rifts now. So which way do I need to keep going? Okay, yep, just need to keep going that way. Eventually I'll hit. Eventually I'll hit some more camps. These camps are vital because they do allow for uh, for eat for fast travel, so they are vital to to take. Oop! Looks like we got some enemies over here. Ooh. There we go. It's been some time since the renegade Templars faced a mage of any talent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, interesting way to say that, Solace. Oop. You need some elf root. Not going to get away. Varric explosive shot. As for Varric, he'll do a long shot. There we go. I need, I need that ram. Ram meat. Thank you very much, my good ram. Ugh. Oh boy, I guess we're going to be falling a little bit. Let's see. Yep, there we go. That's where my next thing is going to take me. Ooh, looks like there's a rift up there. I guess we'll be running, I guess we'll be running head first into that. Need to find my way up there first. Ooh, a lot of people. Or not a lot of people, but a lot of loot I can look for. Balance and dagger. And there's some iron over there. Acquired three iron. Not going to even bother with that skull. Boom. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Let's see what they bring out next. Preparing for the next wave. Boom. There we go. Jesus Christ, oh my god. There we go, he used a healing potion. Just like I needed him to. Okay, this camera can get a little wonky. Now let's close the rift. Closing the rift. There we go. Rift is rift has been sealed. Oh, it looks like there's some loot.
Dun. And looks like you got another plus one power. Nope, that animal's not worth chasing down. Templar Knight. Thank you, I need you, Rams. There we go. That's going to be a lot of ram meat to harvest. Got some gold. Loot. There we go. The breach isn't going to close itself. Indeed. The sooner we obtain help for the breach, the better. Yeah, we're not going to we go to Valroyal just yet. <laughs> nope, those are just one of the. Well, maybe not. Map to a waterfall. Nope, not what I was thinking. Blood Lotus. Is there anything I should be aware of? Nope. I don't know. Doesn't matter. No matter. There's another camp just uh, just along the way. Ooh, more blood lotus. And another ram. Explosive shot. Oh, it looks like my car looks like my looks like my companions are ready for a level up as well. Blood lotus. These side quests are going to take a while. But, I mean, it's not all that bad. I mean, Dragon Age Inquisition can be, is a very fun game. A cell sword. No idea what those are, but we have to take them out now. Weapon fragments. Wonder what's going on here. Templar camp along the western road. Oop. So we got a Templar camp here to take care of. Oop, gotta take care of the ranged people. You guys take care of that defender. That charge does help. As it gets me in close. If I ever do need to close the distance. 
There we go. There we go. He's down. Lamb's wool. Ooh. Let's open this chest and see what secrets it contains. A raider longbow. Hmm. Could be useful later. I guess we I guess I just found another area I need to claim. For the Inquisition! That lighting, damn, that is good lighting. Save. I mean, you can never be too careful with saving. Return the stolen treasure to the Western Fortress. Yep, I'll be going that way. Yep, going that way. Continue onwards. Oh, another quest to pick up. I mean, all I mean, experience is certainly important in this game, and especially when you have level locked. Not necessarily level locked quest, but quests that you do need to be a certain level for. I'm gonna let the Empress die. Actually. There'll, there'll come a point where you can let the empress, where you can save the empress, the empress of Thetis, or let her be killed and have someone else take her place that can help you. May sound very dark of me, but my character is not is not exactly going to be a nice one, because I am a Kunari and they are very aggressive. Another fetch quest. See what it is. I don't necessarily take time to read it. Search the northern hills. Oop, and I should probably level up my characters, actually. Nope. Switch characters. This is Varric, so he is a archer. Death from above. Chain reaction. That'll be, that's a good thing to have. Cassandra. She needs weapon shield, shield bash, lunge and sl actually, yeah. She needs that. And as for Solace, oh yeah, good. Now I finally have that revival power that I need from Solace. That is going to be very helpful, actually. So that'll be very helpful to have Solace. Actually, all my mages will be required to have that ability. Because that ability will save my ass. That abil Trust me, that revival ability can save people's asses. We could make camp here. Set up camp. We will make camp there. Power. The darkness crawls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand, and grisly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver, for no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. Take down these wolves. Boom. They can be. They may have helpful furs on them. There we go. No normal wolf would fight with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad, or perhaps a demon took command of the pack. Both are very likely possibilities. Why am I up so early? 
Eh. I just thought it'd be fun. I mean, like, I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of free time today to, to, to get this video in, and this video's been long overdue. Holy shit. This is going to be a hard fight. Okay, everybody's going to need to focus on that guy. See if, if any other people are like that. Damn it, still a little too far. Okay, um, Outlaw Enforcer. I need him to close the distance. Uh, that'd be nice. That's a little weird. There we go. Thank you. Now I can finally get this thing. Explosive shot. Lunge and slash. And winter grass. God, that guy needs to be taken care of quickly. I'll taunt him. No. Sh no. No, you'll just do basic attack. And Solus can also do a Mind Blast. Oh shit. Damn it. Fuck. Damn it, Solus. Damn it, Solus. God damn it. That's... Come on, Solus. Get your head... Get your head out of your ass, Solus. Now both of them need to drink a tet need to drink my healing potion. There we go. Drink the damn potion for Christ's sake, thank you. Okay, Cassandra, please don't die on me. Wait, did that outlaw just get armor back? Oh my god. Ah, stop. Stop. Ah, bless it. God damn it. Okay, maybe we need to use the tactical camera to get a rain on the situation. Take care of all these people. Well, no wonder I'm having a little bit of trouble. They're all level 8. I don't know why, because I kind of need to come this way. I hate it when games do this. Varric. Uh, Varric, please back up. That's actually pretty. <laughs> Our Lego Dimensions is actually kind of kind of cool. Where is my character actually? Cassandra. Maleficent needs a barrier. Thank you. Who the hell's emailing me? Nope. Ah, bless these. This ca combat camera could use some work. Now we can focus all all our attention on this big guy. Ow, he just hurt. There we go. Hopefully he's. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Take a potion. Oh my god, that was a tough battle. Ah, bless these people, for Christ's sake. Okay, need to get a rain on the situation here. Basic attack for Ver... Yeah, Ver, focus on him. Cassandra, lunge and slash. And Souls could use some of that. This will be the last thing I can do to... There we go. Ah. The 
the one I want is a Doctor Who pack, which comes out in November, and the Joker pack comes out in January. <laughs> so they're going to have a whole bunch of character packs. Oh, I guess that's all right. Oh my god. Ooh, better save, because that was a arduous, very arduous battle. And I need to get to my next camp so I can refill my potion supply. Come on, let me pick up the loot. Uh, stop, damn it. There we go. Seven gold. One sided blade. That was a hard battle. Good thing I had all those potions in reserve. I'm kind of surprised I even made it past it. Let's kill this little animal. Ah, damn it. Long list incoming. Oh boy. This, this should be interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, level 8 outlaws? Oh, shit. I guess I'm getting into a too big of an area right now. Don't worry, with our combined might, we can take him. I doubt that's the last of them. Come on. Yeah, and I kind of want to get to my camp. Nope. Okay, good. We good. We made camp. Oh, that was good. Oh, supplies are now replenished. Power one. Boom. Boom. Fire power. Let's see how far the last one is. So the last one's going to be over there. Okay, at least I can fast travel to it to get me closer. I like this portable streaming option that... Or, I like the streaming option that Xbox One has. Just 100 bucks for the game. What? A hundred bucks for the game and what, what do you mean hundred bucks for the game and Legos? Like, are you saying the game itself cost a hundred bucks? Because that seems a little ridiculous. Like, way too, like, why the hell would I even pay for that? A hundred bucks for a game. Like, what do you mean hundred bucks for the game and Legos? Like, is there a set of Legos that comes with the game? Hopefully this will... Hopefully I'm taking the right direction. Wait. Oh, uh, wait. A hundred bucks for the game or a hundred bucks because it comes with... Ga with Because the game comes with the game itself and Legos. Which, oh, which one? For the game itself or for game and Legos altogether? Put the Legos on to put them in the game. Oh. Wow. That... Okay. So with the pad to put the Legos on to put them in the game... Hmm. Uh, I wish they would like in this world of HD remasters. I wish they would do an a, a quote unquote HD remaster of Lego of Lego Star Wars on Xbox One and P PlayStation Four because that'd be nice. That would be kind of nice. Coming up on my last camp. I need to set up. Oop! Better save before this battle. Just in case it's gonna be, just in case it's a hard one. Nope, it's a fairly looks like a fairly simple one. 
It looks like they're already engaged. So it looks like we can flank them from behind. Yeah! Ugh. There we go. Lamb's wool. We gotta travel this way to get to the camp. Oop, loot. 42 gold. Thank you. God damn it, I really I really need to go through all my Bandits ahead. Aw, no Lego Star Wars won't be part of dimensions. The ancient elves may have set up wards near here. If we can find the artifacts they used, it may help strengthen this area against tears. Ooh, outlaws. At least they're level four. Ugh. There we go. Outlaw Archer. Nice job, Cassandra. That's the last of them. You said that just a while ago, Varric. Looks like there's a lot for me to pick up. Konari Battle Axe. That could be... Less a shade. It can't properly be called a war any longer. It's a free peace. I am no danger to you. My name is Miris. By your weapons, I see you come ready for battle. Perhaps we face a common enemy in these demons. What are you doing here? Are you fighting? Fighting the but I had I was not expecting so many demons, however. I believe it sounds thank you. I guess we'll follow her. Energize. Allow me to take We'll need focused magical energy to get by. You, flat ear. Can you manage it? Flat ear. We got yes, we got demons in here. That's kind of cool. At least you get the monkey from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, this combat's kind of fun. Perhaps if I made an attempt. See you later, Alan. Thank you for joining me. I do not think I could have done this alone. Let's keep going downwards. Down, 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 down. Sense elven magic somewhere nearby. There we go, Solace. Shadow Essence. Quest completed. If we activate that crystal, it should react to the strength of the veil. Well, that should prove useful. And it seems the ancestors left something for me as well. Interesting. I believe our alliance is concluded. Go in peace, stranger. Mahalani, Maglandeval, the Enasalim. Aye, perhaps you're right. Here, take it. Go with Mithal's blessing. Mithal. Spoke some weird language. You need to get to the last camp, though. So now we're leaving here.
Well, that was a short quest. Looks like it's going to be over there. Outlaw. Okay, tactical camera time. I will go over there. Cassandra. Basic attack. Boom. Ha <laughs> Take that. And that. Woo. Yeah, the camera will get wonky, and that is also another complaint I have to raise about the game is the combat camera. They are retreating. We must pursue. Not yet. Not before we loot. Reinforced shield. Enhanced ring. One of the nine rings of power. Okay, save the game, then I will take this, then I will take this camp. Cassandra and Solace. Let's see, I will put you on basic attack duty, and we'll just see how it plays out. Advance the time. Jesus Christ, oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Seriously, this camera does need some work. It really does. East Road Bandits. Loot. Decent spot to camp. And before, before I set up camp, though, I'm just going to grab all the loot I can. Spindleweed. Acquired the iron. A lot of stuff to pick up. That there it. Iron. Acquired three iron. Jesus Christ, the farther I go. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's go to let's go make camp. Set up camp. Quest completed. Save the game. My interest is that. Uh, uh, thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you missed any part of this, I will be uploading this to my YouTube channel as a full, as a Let's Play. And um, Dragon Age Inquisition, I will, I will be playing Dragon Age Inquisition in its entirety. Like, I will be going through the whole, the whole story of the game. So this will be a series of streams. And in between the series, just to give you guys a break, I again I will be doing a f I'll be doing other ge other games, just one or two videos on from time to time. But my main series will be Dragon Age. So I think my next for my next miscellaneous let's play, it's going to be Diablo three. 
But then after Diablo 3, I'll be getting right back to Dragon Age. Um, I, I do appreciate everybody for watching, and again, please check this out.